Micah Frankel for CageMinds.com. Today we're being joined by Donald Sanchez. He'll be co-main eventing Legacy FC 30, April 4th, Route 66 Casino. Welcome him in. Thank you for the time, Donald. How you doing? Hey, Micah. I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, man. So how are you feeling? How's camp been going? We're two weeks away from fight night. Uh, I'm feeling awesome, man, the best I've ever felt. Uh, I switched a lot of things up, and uh, this fight's a big fight for me, and I can't wait to make it happen. New gym, first time repping Jackson's MMA. What's What other changes have went through? We know there's been the change of camp, but what else have you changed up so far? You know, basically, I've changed up everything. You know, I changed up my lifestyle. I cleaned everything up. Um going to be a whole different person in there, you know, uh, going in with a game plan, uh, different training partners, different styles of training, everything's different, man, I, I could say from ground up, it's all different. You've been very successful before, current win streak and everything, what uh, led you to making these changes, though, and currently, you're in a four-fight win streak. People usually don't make changes when they're winning. They usually reflect off of a loss. So what what happened to you that changed this up? You know, um, I just felt like uh, I needed to change everything up. I needed to change my whole life up, and uh, this was the time, perfect timing for it. And um, I just, I was, I was praying about it forever, man, I, I, for months and months and months, and, it just finally hit me, and, I, and it came to me, and I, and I did it that day. The people you have been working with, you've been working with most of your career, so how difficult of a decision was that to branch out, broaden your horizons? Man, it was one of the hard, hardest decisions ever to make. I mean, um, I, it, was, it was hard. I, I just had a lot of people backing me, helping me out, supporting me. And, uh, helping me make decisions, and um, I, I made the decision I had to for myself and my family, you know. Well, what do we expect out of the new Donald Sanchez? All these new factors coming together, putting together a new fighter. What do we expect out of the new Donald Sanchez? Uh, you, you, you could see, you're going to see a, a cleaner me, a uh, meaner me, um, more technical me, um, all around, everything seems to be getting better. Um, nothing bad about anything before, but it's just better now. With these moves that you made, were all the transitions smooth, or were there some bumps in the road to take a while to get used to the adjustments? How did that go? You know, it, it was actually pretty smooth, other than, um, you know, uh, some people didn't agree with what I wanted to do, and, and they tried to hold me back on that, but... Um, mo most people that were on my side uh, helped me out and helped me get through it. <clears throat> Everyone else help was helping me, and they were there with open arms. So uh, it, it was it was awesome, you know. I, I was welcomed right in. With all these changes, would you say it was kind of a shot in the arm? It reinvigorated you. Absolutely, man. I needed uh, <laughs> I needed uh, some more motivation. Not that it was wasn't motivating, but uh, I just felt like I was uh, doing a complete circle and, and repeating everything and, and um, just on that same path, and I wanted to change everything up I had to to uh, get some more motivation and get that blood back in me. Well, we've seen you in King of the Cage, Bellator, now it's Legacy. Have you signed a, uh, a several fight deal, or is this the one and done with Legacy right now? Just one and done, man. That's what I like to do, you know. And I, I uh, want to keep the door open and, um, and and see what what we could do from there, you know. Uh, people, a lot of people have offered me contracts, but I'm not really willing to be stuck with someone for so long, uh, fighting with the same people forever and ever, unless it's like one of the highest organizations out there, you know. Not that Legacy isn't or Bellator wasn't, but you know what I mean. We know what you mean. We know there's a specific goal, and with the over 40 fights you've had, we know there's a place that you'd like to get to to at least compete once there, too. Do you think a win on the fourth propels you towards that goal? 
uh, definitely uh, helps put me in a better position. Uh, this guy is no joke, and that's the fight that I like to take. And um, hopefully it puts me in a better position. Hopefully I go out there and um, finish in fashion, you know? Right. Let's talk about your opponent. Flavio, the legendary Alvaro. He's actually on a five-fight win streak, and I informed you earlier of this. A week ago, he just won the main event of XFC International 2. Three of his last five wins, they're all in a row, but by decision, he's a 36-year-old fighter with 56 fights under his belt, 30 of those being finishes. What have you seen on studying of him that you've taken away? And I see this guy is real technical, and he's an all-around fighter, real strong, um, really good uh, Muay Thai. Um, he likes to ground and pound, you know, throw those elbows like any Muay Thai guy would. So, uh, you know, we got a game plan for that. How much uh, were you able to study him? I know in Brazil sometimes... You know, not everything makes its way over here. So were you able to at least get a good feel on his game? You know, I didn't really study him much. I watched, like, parts of, like, two of his fights. And then um, I just let the coaches come up with a game plan, and I've been working that. And um, we'll just we'll go along with that, you know? He's having a little under three weeks between fights. Do you think now learning that, that could bode in your advantage that he's already fought 15 minutes recently, 100%, may have some lingering injuries, or you'll wait to make that assumption when you get in the cage? You no, know, I never make any assumptions, but I've, I've experienced it. And um, sometimes I did good, sometimes I did, so you never know. But I'm coming out there to take his head off, so... That's all I can say. With this, you've been sidelined for eight months making these changes. How excited is it of a moment, especially here in New Mexico, to get to make that debut with the new team and the new changes, and it's almost here? Man, it's crazy. Uh, it's kind of tough, but, you know, uh, I'm excited to do it. Uh, everyone else is excited to do it, and... Uh, Let's just do this already. I, I want to get in there right now, you know. I'm, I'm ready for this. I've been prepping. I took all this time off for, for all this, and it wasn't for nothing, that's for sure. And then we know you've been a busy man. How is it? The wedding's still lurking around. you got all these fight camps coming up. How's that going on the personal side? <laughs> yeah, I, I got the, the wedding a couple weeks after this fight, so it kind of worked out better for me because my lady gets to... She gets to worry about all that stuff, and I get to focus on my fight. So that uh, that helped me out a little bit. So uh, sorry to her, but also thanks to her. So she's doing a little more for me now. All that coming together with the new camps, with the new lifestyle. Is there a new mentality that you're bringing to fighting? Oh yeah, man. I, I come. I'm coming out with more respect, man. Uh, I've learned to open up my eyes and, and respect a lot, of, a lot of things. It's crazy uh, how uh, I always thought of, my, of myself as a respectful person, but I really was, wasn't was that, that respectful. I was, I was kind of a disrespectful person, and uh, i got to apologize to anyone and everyone that ever thought that. Um, not, I'm coming in with, with respect to my opponent, but at the same time I'm coming in to kick him out, you know. Looking for that win, only one guy can have their hand raised, right? Absolutely. So, with the first fight now, this is going to be April. Still got a lot of time left in 2014. Know you're probably going to be taking a little break after this with the wedding and all that, but what's your hopes for the year? Uh, you know, I just want to keep winning, keep evolving. That's the, that's the main thing. I got to evolve. Um, and I just want to get to that next level. I'm ready to fight for people and with the right preparation, right time. And um, let's do this, you know. I'm ready. In the past, we had seen you pick up some boxing matches. Is that still a possibility out there that we'll see you back in the ring? Or are you more focused towards the MMA right now? Where are you at on that? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm uh, strictly MMA. Um, 
that's my sport, that's what I'm going to do, and um, that's what i got to train. I can't just um, stop at some point and, and train for one thing at, at one time and, and then go back to another. i got to do it all, all of it, you know? Was checking on that. No one's seen you, you know, spreading out before. Sounds like a new Donald Sanchez, a new focus, ready to come out there and show us all about it. I'm sure there's people you need to thank, sponsors and all that good stuff. Go for that. Man, there's so many people I gotta thank. Um, I can't. Even, I'm not even gonna try to start it, but all my friends, my family, my sponsors, you all know who you are, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart without all of you guys I, I couldn't do this I want to thank you for having me for this interview as well like always man thank you so much for the time Donald Sanchez Holly Holmes those are the two people at the top of the card repping New Mexico we'll see them April 4th Legacy 30 Route 66 Casino Legends Theater we'll see everybody out there thanks for watching or listening <laughs>